Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel for another First Amendment expose. Today I chose a video from Accountability for All, who just lost an election and now he's mad that he can corrupt the government himself. Alright, let's do this. Joshua Abrahams is a national treasure the same way he's an athlete, an intelligent man, and an official elect government member. This violent, convicted, criminal felon was indeed trying to be elected on the select board. It's like politics, it's not corrupted enough, and now you want violent, convicted, criminal felon to be part of it, so he can attack me with a crowbar in a parking lot after a meeting? I cannot wait for him to be Minister of Defense. Anyway, he lost, obviously, and now is big mad. And instead of taking accountability, lol, he chose to throw all his venom on a few technicalities and a tent that was not in the right place. And finally, if you do get elected, can we start auditing you as our public servant? Mm, let's listen to him bitch about everything. What's up, guys? And this video is the biggest banger I've ever put out. I live in Townsend, Massachusetts, and I was running for select board. A lot of people reached out to me and said the current select board was corrupt and it needed change and they asked me to do it, so I did. And as I'm sure some of you have heard, I lost by about 250 votes. Not bad for a guy that's only lived in town six months, but turns out I didn't lose. When I showed up on election day to vote, I saw the incumbent sitting with another selectman with a big table and tent soliciting votes. Problem is, Massachusetts state law states that you must be at least 50 yards away from the polling. Okay. Oh, sir, you're very unprofessional. Huh? You're very unprofessional. If you want to be, stick your camera up your ass. So I'm unprofessional, but you have one selectman back in another selectman. Now, is it within the footage? Have you, have you checked to make sure that legally you're not too close to the town hall with a person running for office while elections are taking place? Because he wanted to tell me I wasn't professional, he wanted to cuss me out too, right? But it's okay for him to do it, not for me to do it. It's like you're free to say what you want to say, man. He's free to say what he wants to say. Come and listen to the idiot! Hey, everybody! The idiot's on! And exactly who is it that we're talking about? See the arrow pointing? That's pointing to Chaz Sexton Duranian, the incumbent and guy I'm running against. Okay, so the old story is that Chaz here is a corrupt politician and he's using all his power to control Massachusetts or something. That guy looks like a mattress salesman, by the way. Are you telling me that a select board has real executive power, Josh? All they do is call meetings and organize events and whatever. Ugh. Do you really want to hang out with these people, Josh? I don't think you know what you're doing here. He's the highest elected body in the town. In fact, he's in charge of implementing and writing new laws. That doesn't sound right. Now I ran for select board so the people's voices could be heard. <laughs> so how does this play out? Well in Massachusetts, because the 50-yard rule was broken and violated, there wouldn't be a special re-election. The other person on the ballot would automatically get the position, and if there was no other person, it would go to the person who had the most write-ins. However, I was the next person. So you know what that means? He lost. Now the town's gonna get their own engineer to measure it out, and once it's confirmed, the election will be reversed. That's not the end for Chaz. Violating election laws is a felony, and he's looking at some serious time. So he keeps going for a while, but if I had to take a bet, I'm pretty sure Chaz will not do some serious time. Let's pursue this tight conduct investigation. I'm Hook. Now this is where the voting took place, right there. Now I went to go see the town clerk and let her know that although he won by votes, those votes were illegally gained because he did it within 50 yards of the polling station. The town clerk told me that it's 30 yards, 150 feet. And at that point, I knew that she had made a grave error. And there's a lot of if in your story, Joshua. I mean, it's like if in reality you didn't know what happened and you throw all that shit you have on a wall and you see if anything sticks. But so far you're telling me you lost because this tent 
and those dude were 20 yards too close of a window where people were voting? Joshi, you're salty, my good man. And you are so violent, convicted felon, just in case you forgot. I okay. get what you're saying. It's very clear. Okay. Anything else I should know? <laughs> you have man boobs. <laughs> Ugh. Oh! Ew! Dude! What the f***? Oh, no, that is just... Ew! Hey, Jess. Hey, dude. How are you? Good, thanks. I want to see if uh, any progress has been made on the measurements. Oh, I'm not sure. Let me go ask Kathy. Okay, perfect. Thank All right. you. All right, you're welcome. So, and I looked into it. I don't know it. everything. I looked into it. Now, it's in, It's not 50 yards, right? So I had it measured anyways by a state certified engineer. Mm -hmm. And then, like, the lay person looking at it. And I think what happened was... So here he repeats the old 100 feet is not 30 yards or whatever and measurement tape and blah, 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 blah. When people were coming in to vote for me yep. or to vote for whomever, I have him on video running up to people saying, oh, don't vote for him. He's, you know, he's, he's a terrible person, blah, 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 which is fine. He can do that. Yes, he can do that indeed. And to inform voters that they're about to embark on your scam as a violent criminal convicted felon that you are, he does a great service to the community and uses freedom of speech. See, and that, that's the interesting thing, right? She's, she's going to go back there and spend time to certify the election when the election is i mean even the even the town clerk here uh states that no he was not 50 yards away you just saw it he was not 50 yards away he was 30 yards away and he was 30 yards away because the town clerk had made a mistake that's not my fault it's not my fault he won the election through a cheat and he violated the law so how did the guy break the law if he followed the indication from the clerk looked like he just did what they told him i'm unsure if seeing josh fighting so hard for nothing is sad or funny at this point then he goes on a tirade for four minutes about how the guys were supposed to make the measurement uh, it has no credential I, I don't know what kind of credentials do you need to measure with a tape and he also tried to build a scandal around the fact that the guy who will actually measure it with a tape uh, no chance and probably vote for him bro you do know how politics work right and especially in a small town also if you spend your life committing felonies you cannot be surprised that people are not super hot with the idea of helping you or supporting you anyway then they go out for a lot more bullshit it is what it is this is they're entitled to now their there, there was a lady i think i saw her the other day walking up the stairs she was right here talking to joe uh now joe turns and says to the woman oh and don't you vote for him either so this is the closest it got but i'll go with the barrier over here what? so this little inlet space is where the gentleman was standing right here Handing out little stickers. Okay. Now, I was a quarterback. I played football. I was damn good. I'm gonna say that. I'm not good with measurements well, and distance. So that window right up there is we we're talking. It's a little past. So I'm saying. That's 20 yards. Mmm, Jesse baby, the yellow line in front of you is 5 yards max, so the window is way further than 20 yards. Is that why you converted from quarterback to lineman? There was a mistake made, mm -hmm. and he knew he was going to lose. Mm -hmm. So he set himself up, or maybe it wasn't a mistake, maybe he just was told 30 yards, whatever it is. If his advantage is, I'm going to tell everyone that comes into town hall, laws be damned, and I'm going to tell them not to vote for this guy. If he was not at least 50 yards out, as the law states, and he was polling as an incumbent within that 50 yards, do you think the law is correct saying that, that his election uh, victory should be reversed? So I'm not sure because I don't know that law, because it hasn't been my responsibility to do anything to do with how far away something is. It's always rested on the town clerk herself or himself, depending on who So more is. fair question. If the law was violated by this man and that and and the violation of that law resulted I'd have to look at the law and see what the law says about 
But well, so let's put it this way. Instance of that if case, I am accurate with my interpretation and regurgitation you, you of the law. Josh, you can rephrase your question as much as you want. She will not just say what you want to hear. And she's getting really uncomfortable to have to dance around it like that. I'm going to troll this guy because I said to him, I was like, oh man, look at you. Yeah, enjoy your day today. It's going to be a rough one tomorrow because I did zero campaigning. I was supposed to do some campaigning and then I had to go help some people with some police brutality stuff they were dealing with. I'm here to tell you right now. We don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you something. We don't care. So Joshi here, the defender of the people, will keep yapping about meaningless details, trying his hardest to get some sympathy from that poor clerk who has to pretend to be enjoying this proverbial diarrhea from a convicted criminal felon. But then the most shocking parts ends up happening. Now Joe Shank, do not run. Stay back I'm there. not I running. Need cardio. <laughs> I need cardio, Jeff. <laughs> Jazz was standing right here. Oh. My. God. Okay? This is in the video? This is in the video. I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to stop in a second. So if Chaz, the incumbent, standing right here, okay. and he has to be 50 yards away, and you figured out that 50 yards is past that curtilage looks like what? So if the argument is the door and that's the town's mm -hmm. argument, mm -hmm. I appreciate it. There's going to be less wiggle room for him. If it's over there, he still, he still kind of made an ouchie that cost him an election. But thank you for looking. I just wanted yeah, to show you because I think it matters. You shouldn't cheat to win, yeah, even right. if you're, even if you hold right. a government position. I think everyone should go out according to the law. <laughs> Uh, so our national asshole keep going with every damn technicality can find. If it's from that door, it's this, but but from that door, it's that, and that, and that, and that, and that. It never ends. Josh sounds like a salty old lesbian who's unhappy with the change they make at the grocery because now she cannot find anything anymore. Or though, for one, he walks a lot, which is good for his cardio, not as much for the tectonic plates, though. <laughs> This is new. So it would have been right here, Jess. Yeah, it would have been right in here. Right somewhere. here. But and, there's and new dirt been so dumped. 50 yards would have been right here, okay? So I'm going to walk 50 yards. Now I'm going to be right in the middle of the street, which is not a safe place to go. So are we saying, Jess, that if this is the pole marker, like we said before, and it goes to the curtilage, that anything this side of me would not fall in that footage and would violate those, those laws? And then the guy that was running against me is way He's up there. there. Right so back. The, so, yeah. so in from from what you're looking at now, yeah. it doesn't look good, does it? Not from my perspective, but I like Town I said. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> He's little gotcha mama here. Look at him. He's so proud. Gotcha. He finally got his little gotcha moment there when she finally caved after he asked 12 times the same question and walked with her all over the damn parking lot. This video is almost an hour long. Is it literally torture to be next to that convicted criminal felon for that long? All she says is a shaky, not from my perspective. <laughs> not from my perspective? After you pressure her for I don't know how many yards of constant yapping. Ugh. So the only reason I was running for this is, and I'm not going to give any, there, there were a lot of people that had reached out to me and said, things need to be the way that they were. And, and I had an issue that happened to my kid and I decided that I wanted to help and see if I could put things back, Absolutely. sit in my position for three years, allow some more people to see that it's possible and not be scared about running, because that was the big thing. Mm -hmm. People were scared about going up against the machine and totally. the fallback and that, yeah. you know the retaliation for going against the machine. Well, that was a load of mm, shiny, smelly, glossy pile of crap there. Now our absolute powerless lowlife badger fucker will go on for a while, repeating over and over everything he already said. And that poor woman is just staying there. And all she can think about is when he will shut up. I feel your pain, girlfriend. Then she reminds him that she has an actual job to do and they get back inside since he has his gotcha moment anyway. 
Jess, thank you for being so helpful and being uh, continuously committed to You're do welcome, what's my friend. right for, for the town. Absolutely. Uh, it is in your hands. I know the clerk's office is, is doing the best they can to, to figure this out and follow the parameters of the law, and they will do that tirelessly. So I look forward to hearing back uh, from you guys and tell Kathy I, uh, I missed her and to have a good day. And I will tell I her. I will hopefully hear back from her tomorrow okay. for you. All right. Thanks, Jess. All right. You have a good day. Have a good afternoon. It's beautiful out. It is. The election was stolen. Well, you know, that's just like uh, your opinion, man. It seems like I was right, and it seems like he's definitely not going to be select board. I am. I'll, uh, thank you. You can call me Mr. Selectman. But it appears like Jim might be in his future also. And that's the reason I stopped you today. That might be what the cops say to him when they get him for election tampering. Shut up, baby dick. <laughs> it might be. <laughs> hey, I just noticed this gorgeous quilt. What the f- <laughs> That doesn't make sense. And this is how the shit show finish uh, on a quilt. Uh, so what to say? Josh, you're a sore loser who pretends you did all this to send a message, but then you're all happy to call yourself Mr. Select Boardman or whatever. And all I can take from your unstoppable verbal bullshit is that you think you lost because of a tent and that man were 20 yards too close to a door. What a big fat saggy tits bitch you are. And by the way, you know most of those like exist because back then the other party was hiring hooligan to kick ass in front of the door. The only thing you show me today is that you will never accept accountability for anything. And this irony alone keeps you in a funny territory, even if you're unbearable to listen to. All right, enough with this clown, my dear Joshua. Like they say in the Philippines, we're dying in a more. Thanks for watching my video, guys. Please like, a comment, and subscribe. And let's expose those clowns. One at a time. Bye.